welcome back to the next episode of the podcast, which is 108. I believe. 108. Last 108. last week we had we had Mr. Smosh on here. Very and now, fun. And now we have actually two guests who tower him in views, subscribers, and notoriety. Please, uh, big round of applause for the Tucker brothers. We have Harrison Tucker and Jackson Tucker. AKA the Broccoli Brothers. AKA Game Bros. AKA the Ukrainian Rattlesnakes. <laughs> AKA the uh, inventors of Super Mega. That's not true. AKA the brother of the creator of Kids with Problems. AKA the creator of Kids with Problems. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giant list, but how, how would you like to be referred to during this podcast? All of the above. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can just pick and choose. No, like in order. I like <laughs> I like Ukrainian rattlesnakes. But uh, you might know uh, Jackson from uh, back in the day, Kids of Problems. He's the he's the fellow with the he had the nice beard back then and the glasses. Oh, remember, yeah. remember the beard the, freshman the, the year of college? It was disgusting. Beard. It was so bad. There was like something living in that. I can't see. I'm not one to judge facial hair. Because you just some tried people. to grow a mustache. Yeah. yeah. Ian I, I see, from Smosh made fun of you. He did. <laughs> Ian from Smosh did he not like, like the mustache. Wow. So. Yeah. That was a good move on shaving it. Thank you, thank you. It's it's gone now, as I said last week. But the mustache is gone. Um, Jackson over here has a nice mustache, and Harrison, he's the uh, elder brother of Jackson. That's right. And uh, they both recently have been uh, living with me, but they're they're fun guys, friends with me and Ryan. So uh, we said let's have them let's have them on the cast, you know. And let's... here we are. They're they're here. Um, if you if you want to learn more about them. Where could they go to see whatever you're working on or where you put your voice? So, uh, for starters, if you work at any of the companies I've sent my resume to, <laughs> um, <laughs> feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> um, but otherwise, obviously, I started doing stuff with Matt years ago, and then he moved out to sunny Los Angeles, California. And abandoned you. Yeah, but, you know, who got their college degree? We don't degree? need to get into the semantics. Who, who got their college degree? Okay. And well, gets to move out here. Oh, yeah, you know. And now Matt's living on our couch. Yeah. Matt actually lost his lease. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we flip-flopped We it. don't need to go into that amount of detail. But, actually, Jackson, um, we haven't even announced this yet, but Jackson is the, the, the brains behind uh, super mega social media. Yeah. Jackson is the, is the mastermind st- brainstorming up those tweets, sending them out, those Instagram posts. So that's why I've been a lot more active on social media. Ryan and I still post too on social media, and I think the posts are a little better. But they 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 they're in there as well. But Jackson mainly runs the social media now. Oh yeah. Uh, so let's give him a round of applause. Congratulations. Is it is it the job you've always wanted? Is yeah. It the dro- you know. Is it is it the job you pictured when you graduated? When I moved out to Los Angeles and got my uh, bachelor's of science degree, I really wanted to run social media for a YouTube channel. <laughs> Specifically a Let's Play. Specifically my best friend's um, <laughs> Let's Play channel. <laughs> so I'm living the dream. Yes. I get I get a fantastic minutely rate. <laughs> you know, Los I, Angeles is the, the city of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> now you're running social media. Look at that. You got your college degree, now you're running social media for See, a Let's Play channel. You couldn't dream of this. No, I, I couldn't. I would never have been able to dream of this when I was in school. No, never. For one year. But, um, yeah, so otherwise, I'm on other social media, Jackson A. Tucker. Pretty simple. What about you, Harrison? I, I use mostly just, I, once, like, whenever I get on the, Flickr. Whenever I get the <laughs> bite in the butt to use Twitter ever again, uh, it's like at Harrison Tucker, I think, but it's H A R R Y S O N. Harry Son. Harry Son Tucker, I think. That that is it. Okay, I, I know your I know your handle better than you, Harrison. I'm okay, always on your Twitter looking. Speaking at your of bites in the butt in social media, I think that Harrison to clear something up at the very start of this episode. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Matt has a stolen stolen ass valor right now. I didn't intentionally do it. I posted a picture on my Instagram story of Harrison walking down by a river, and I never claimed it to be me. It was just a picture but of my friend. But he never not claimed. <laughs> right. Well, okay. I didn't want wait, to. Wait, was, do you want me to tag is you? Is this like a, on an Instagram no, 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 story no, 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 or yeah. something? Yeah. Okay. On my, on my personal Instagram. There? No, it's gone. Oh, now. I can't. I can't see the proof. But I basically, can't. Harrison is known far and wide for he has a very voluptuous ass. It, you know, you're a six-two tall, skinny white guy, but you have, you have a. Impeccable ass, it really is, and and it's on my resume. <laughs> it's it it should be because everyone in our friend group, everyone everyone that knows him, you know, they know him for the ass. It's a big ass. Stand up real quick, show us the cake. Yes, yeah, the cake. Stand up. <laughs> let's see it. 
Like it's a it's. Do you a, work that out at all, or is it just all natural? It's just natural. It's He's natural. just the je- those those pants are even kind of like constricting it when it's when it's when it's free. <laughs> it's a nice ass. But I posted on my story, and I didn't even realize that you can like very clearly see the uh, the cake there that's presented, and I got an extraordinary amount of DMs of people thinking it was me. Asking me when my ass got so thick. Thick Watts. Just like nothing. Thick Watson. Yeah, like thick Watt, Matt Thickson. Uh, <laughs> let me get a taste of that cake. Just so much about the ass. And the few people that realized it wasn't me were saying, like, who, like, like, how does your friend have such a nice ass? Like, when, when you're living on a couch in LA looking for a job, you need every bit of validation you can get. So I had to get my respects. Well, you got him in, man. And I, and I hope that's been, I know the job, the job hunt's been a little rough, but I hope that maybe the, the, the validation from teenagers on Instagram, uh, commenting on your ass, I hope that that could at least boost your week a little bit. Actually cut that out now. I, I can't have my, my future, uh, my future employers hearing this. <laughs> you guys hear that? You got, you got to hire Harrison for one reason only. Eye candy. Well, Hey, I'm trying to work in Hollywood, so. Yeah. They'll, they'll, gonna... they'll keep you around on set. Just a little eye candy. Yeah, uh, well, is Kevin Spacey hiring? Yeah, I, I think I think he's looking for for he assistance just released, right now. He just released a new movie. Yeah, and it got like what, like a hundred twenty five dollars in the box office. Hundred twenty six. Let's give the man credit. Let's give the man credit. <laughs> I don't want to sell him short, but, but uh, y- y- y'all laugh. But I wish, I wish I had hundred twenty six dollars. Who who is his who is his co star that came out? It was like Ansel Egort or whatever his name is? What's his name from Baby Driver? Ant. Ansel, wait, him? Like, the main guy from Baby Driver? Yeah. He's the one who defend. Oh, of course, he would probably defend. Because <laughs> yeah, like, I know he was in the movie with him, and then the dude from Kingsman, the main character, the main guy from Kingsman. So, wait, both two young, attractive, <laughs> like, you know, young kids are defending baby. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> the one are that they goes defending by him? Baby. Or are they just in a... No, they Was said- the movie shot after or before? Definitely before. Before. It I'm had- talking about the people that came out and was like, he yeah, it's a second chance. Oh, was, was it? Was it the guy? It was a girl. It was like a female co-star. Yeah, I didn't I think it was him. Oh, Robin Wright came. Robin out Wright, recently. yeah. She was like, "Let's give Kevin Spacey a second chance," even though it was like a couple months ago. If that's the hill she wants to die on, she can go ahead and do that. But <laughs> it's not a good career move. <laughs> no. Look at the bright side, guys. Louis C.K. is back. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> He's back and better than ever. <laughs> he did it in your After... local New York club at like midnight on your local <laughs> New York subway. <laughs> <laughs> After three months. <laughs> Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> well, okay, why does so many... Uh, was was Louis C.K. big at the Laugh Factory? I, well, I mean, I, a lot of... I think if the Laugh Factory is a place where comedians kind of congregate, then it's I would like have to assume... It's like a stomping ground, yeah. I think, yeah. It's where one comedian specific <laughs> ended his career. Michael Richards, Mr. <laughs> Cosmo Kramer. I can't see. I've passed the Laugh Factory before, and I can't. Every time I see that place, I all I can think of is this, the Kramer. No, whenever the I Kramer. see, whenever I see like like videos of comedians doing stand up, and I see Laugh Factory, I just that's where my mind. Is I see the up. YouTube screenshot of Michael Richards on stage yelling. Also, we figured out he's the poorest member of Seinfeld, the Seinfeld cast, right? Well, yeah, it or not. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but like, have, did you see that episode with him and uh, he was on Jerry F- Seinfeld show? Comedians in uh, cars. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jerry. I <laughs> didn't mean it, Jerry. I didn't. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. He's a very eccentric man. He is. And then um, we we were looking at the net worths of all the Seinfeld people, and Jerry, of course, is stupid. What's that rich. supposed to mean when stupid you say, rich. of course, he's got like PewDiePie money. He has PewDiePie money, but Michael Richards. <laughs> Not Michael Richards. <laughs> 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 but Kramer's the, the poorest. I think it goes like Kramer, uh, um, George Jason Alexander, yeah, Jason uh, Alexander. Julia Louis. Lu- is it Louis or Louis? Julia C. Louis. Julia Louis C.K. <laughs> Dre <Roberts. Fitzgerald. laughs> And then um, Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld's what? Like almost a billion. Almost a, it's like nine hundred million. Still not more than Kylie. Hmm. Mm-mm. Wait, no, let's, let's start a GoFundMe yeah, for go Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld, Seinfeld, Seinfeld to get him to a billion. Come on, guys. Because because people, for those of you who don't know, apparently people started like Kickstarters for Kylie to get her to a billion so she could be like the youngest billionaire. Trying to beat out my man Mark. Is that how? What? what? Yeah. That's how it happened? No, no, no. But, but people, like, people were trying to get her to a billion when she uh-huh. was at like 900 something million. So I say we should do the same for uh, Jerry Seinfeld. I agree. Get him to a $1 billion network. Would he be the funniest billionaire? 
No, actually, Jerry Seinfeld's not that funny anymore. No. <laughs> His whole what? thing's like, I'm not doing college campuses anymore because of the PC culture. <laughs> George, it's too politically correct. <laughs> And then uh, Michael Michael Richards comes in. What are you talking about, Jerry? And like loses like another like half of his million dollars. <laughs> half of his million. I think he's still. I think he's still on the like the the. He's, eight he's digit. forty. He has forty five million. I remember that. That's a lot. Night. I mean, so, so I imagine doing one show and then coming out with that much cash. Super imagine being like cast. labeled yeah. the poorest of anything, but still having forty five million dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not really something that's like a shameful it's like i'm the poorest member of seinfeld but i do have 45 million dollars and apparently the thing the reason they make so much money is because the way seinfeld syndicated i had a high school history teacher tell me this and he was full of shit so i don't know how true this is yeah they'll teach about seinfeld in the south but not the civil war (laughs) history yeah he was like uh he said that every time an episode of seinfeld airs jerry seinfeld gets a million dollars it's something like that it's some ridiculous he he gets a lot of money per episode because of the contract that he got he got a good contract. Who's his lawyer? He was right? smart. I his lawyer. He was smart. Larry David was his lawyer. I was just about to say that. Larry David is just as rich because of he's just as rich because he has the same contract because they're both co-creators. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why he's like stupid rich. Too. He's way funnier than Jerry. <laughs> oh Smith, yeah, plus so. Curb. I yeah, because I don't know what else Jerry did that made him that much money. Jerry, uh, B movie. He sunk all in the B movie game. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Do the you advertising think? for that movie was so off. Like it was like live action Steven Spielberg. Like they were going, it was like a studio tour type look, and that's how they introduced the for B, B movie. movie. Yeah, didn't they have commercials Steven where it was, was like, Jerry I'm working Seinfeld? on a new movie that's gonna blow you away? Wait, was B movie Steven Spielberg? No, he had something to do. Or like he was in. I'm gonna look up B movie Steven Spielberg, and I'll show you the video. Well, the weirdest thing about. happened was so it was me, Jackson, and our other brother. There's another one. Believe we were not. we were in Amsterdam. And we're sitting oh at the God. weirdest Airbnb. It was so weird. But on the wall in this room where we thought we were going to die was the whole entire script of the B movie written on a post-it note. Wait, like somebody wrote it out by hand? By hand, yeah. yeah. Because I know that that's the meme where it's like the entire script of B-movie on a t-shirt. Yeah, but or... this is written by hand on a post-it note. That's and weird. This that's... Airbnb was already terrifying. Air, Air B and B. Oh. Get it? Like with the emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you though, know? the weren't there commercials for B movie where it was Jerry Seinfeld like IRL in a B costume or did I? Dream there was that? something with there was something, something where he wore a B costume. He's like, you gotta see my new movie. I got a fat. Oh wait, where is I it? Do remember, yeah, like, yeah, it's right. It's it's the one with Steven Spielberg. He goes, yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is a nightmare. Wonderful. Then Steven Spielberg walks up and is like, "Jerry, Jerry, this is he's a." And then he goes on that. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> Michael, Michael Richards walks in and says, "says the line." This is definitely his like, famous line. <laughs> that was like his midlife crisis was making B movie. Like, <laughs> Jerry, yes, yeah, like, that was definitely a midlife crisis for Jerry Seinfeld was making B movie. <laughs> like, like honestly, he probably thought in his heart that he was going to connect with the kids. Well, because like, it's DreamWorks and they did Shrek, yeah, and Shark Tale. So, Got that movie even American <laughs> classics. I think Wait, is that, this uh, the part where you guys do movie reviews? Yeah, this is the part where we do movie reviews. <laughs> Today we're gonna be reviewing Shark Tale. Well, I remember like Shark Tale, like the whole message of Shark Tale was like like Jack Black's character was like was like coming out as gay or something. Remember how sexy I remember that, that, that's that was? That's what it was. was that's what the message was. That was the message he in the was movie? like, Dad, I'm a vegetarian. And like, <laughs> and he's like, no son of mine's a vegetarian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that. Was wasn't there like a scene in that movie with like a sexy fish doing yeah, a car wash? Oh yeah. Yeah. In the, the car wash like, scene? Also, There's a montage with the song Car Wash. What a weird subplot of like whale, whale wash. wash. <laughs> whale, wash. whale wash. That was it. Oh yeah. The and Will whales. Smith is getting jiggy with it. Oh yeah, Will Smith was the main character. I think this I, never mind, I don't want to say that. This requires a rewatch. It's just the character design for Will Smith's fish is a little bit suspect is it all is. I'm saying. Oh, I'm remembering. <laughs> so, yeah, it no, is. So, no. so, is, so is the lady. No, the, <laughs> yeah. the weirdest part was is that like finding, ne- finding <laughs> you know Nemo. You talking about though? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But like finding <laughs> Nemo, it's literally just here's a fish and it's going to talk. For Shark, Shark Tales, they like, put the face of the actor like on top of it. And it was yeah. terrifying. It's like it's like they mo capped like their face and it's then just put it like onto a poor, poorly designed 3D fish. Model. Uncanny Fish Valley. Like, it's very. Well, it's yeah. the same thing that they did with like um, a Bug's Life and then ants. Ants made the faces like a little too. <laughs> also, I hated the way ants looked. Worst part, you're the main character in Ants, is right? Who's the main character of Ants? Wait, you know exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Wait, do you yeah. know the main character in Ants? Is? Um. It's oh. Woody Allen. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Wait, yes. Woody Allen's the main character? Yeah, yes. Did you not know that? 
Well, uh, I guess hell? I'm a I'm a little ant, and uh, oh god, look, there's the queen ant, but oh, she geez. she's not she's not of age yet. Oh god, but it's also my daughter, <laughs> my my it's my stepdaughter, and also my girlfriend. Hey, it's it's the stepdaughter from a previous marriage. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be speaking. I like on the record man. that even jokingly, actually kind of jokingly, Ryan defended Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think the thing about ants that upset me always as a kid was just the um, Woody Allen. Well, first of all, Woody Allen, the battlefield like, scene where they're all decapitated. That too, <laughs> that's like just the the character design is weird. It's uh, not. It's, it's uncanny. It's Apparently, creepy. a lot of people actually prefer ants to Bugs Life. A lot of people. No, consider- I just rewatched Bugs Life like about a few months ago, and I have to say. It holds up. I love Heimlich. I really like, I like him. Yeah. Is that his name? The big old butterfly or caterpillar? I'm a beautiful butterfly. Pretty much like one of the pigs from the Shrek movies. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Animated movies loved making fun of foreigners at the time. So they'd fat ha- they'd foreigners. Have, yeah. Fat, <laughs> fat, the, the fat, fat German fat character. Foreigners. That was a big trope. Oh, yeah. Simpsons did it. Um, Bugs this, Life did this it. This chair is just something It's okay. Else. Shrek Guys, did it. You're making fun of Germans. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. They speaking deserve of, it. Speaking of Bugs Life, uh, this is also one of the DMs I got yesterday about Harrison's ass. Kim K, Bugs Life looking ass. Look at that motherfucking cake, goddamn. That was my favorite one that you said. That's, that's a pretty good one. So I know whoever what they said mean that. When they say Bugs Life looking ass. Mm-hmm. Their ass is mm-hmm. pop. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, because in Bugs Life they had that that spider. They had that cake. My God. Oh no, the oh the uh, even the main, even Flick like Flick's ass was there, right? Matt looking oh, yeah. like but, the walking stick over there. <laughs> <laughs> did you like the reversal of the the ladybug character? That was it. Was a dude. That was that was probably right? like right. The, the leading uh, gender politics. It's actually in the canon of gender politics <laughs> films. Pixar put an ally in there. Yeah, forever grateful for that. They they led the 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 movement back then for trans rights with that character in Bugs Life. I don't. Know I just like the sound effects they used for the flea whenever it was jumping so, around. He <laughs> <laughs> like that. Tear, like deep. I don't remember his voice. It was like just that super deep, like raspy voice. It was. It was the pig <laughs> from Toy Story. The same guy that did the pig's voice. Oh yeah. Oh, he's in like in every Pixar. That guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, you'll hear him just in the distance over and like. Who remember, is he in Finding Nemo? Um, he's the giant school of fish. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just remember he yeah. had a show on Travel Channel called Made in America, <laughs> and he just went around and just went to American factories. This is like. Pre like crazy era America. Era. Oh wow! I forgot. Toy Story Four comes out less than a year from now. What's gonna happen? But the script, like everything that's gone on with that movie, is kind of faltered. I know the the person who was directing it isn't directing it anymore. It's a three D movie. How are you gonna tell actors what to do? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Joan Cusack married to John Cusack? No, that's his sister, dude. Gross, <laughs> Matt. I, I don't know. Are, wait, are, are they really brother and sister? Yeah. yeah there's yeah. another one who's in Breaking Bad. There's there's two sisters. Oh wait, Michael. Who's, no wait. See, mention Breaking Bad. It's, uh, in Matt's it's, eyes. It's just um. Light up. <laughs> no, not in, in, no, in Better Call Saul. It's uh. <laughs> yeah. Chuck's wife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was on the show I worked on. I remember. Um. What sh- what show did you work on? Mr. Mercedes. Why don't you plug yourself? And does, at the credits, doesn't your name go across the screen? Yeah, nice my name's slow? in the credits. So yeah, I always wanted to work in film, so and I got to do it in Harrison Tucker in uh, good old South Kakalaki, and that's why I moved out here to do. What was your What was your role? I was the uh, I worked for the post department, so I was like the liaison between. Oh, the mail. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I worked in the mail room. <laughs> no. Yeah, the post department. I worked, so I, I worked got to work on set room. and like with the post department. <laughs> so it was fun. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of. Oh, I, okay, okay. The craziest person I met was uh, the guy who RoboCop, like the the guy who was RoboCop was a guest director. Really? Yeah, but I was just, I was getting coffee one day and there's this guy in there. He's just going on about, uh, he's like, has a cappuccino, an espresso, and an affogato, and a chai tea all at the same time <laughs> and drinking all of them. And like, you can look at people and like, you, you can tell that they have like a little bit of money in class just from the, like the way... They're dressed and the way their mannerisms were. I'm like, okay, this guy's like somebody. I don't know who he was. And they started talking about like Italian Renaissance art, just going on about it. And these poor like baristas just had to listen to everything. <laughs> and then he started going on about how he has a house in Italy and how he can speak Italian and just like telling these girls they need to come to Italy and everything. And he's like, yeah, I'm here right now. I'm, a, I'm working on a TV show. I was like, wait, because we were having a guest director. And he's like, yeah, I'm working on Mr. Mercedes. And uh, it was just, it was insane. But he's the guy who's a, who, he was RoboCop. And, but he was talking about this Italian renaissance. And two days ago, I saw a tweet. And it's like, RoboCop is teaching a class in New York on American, or no, Italian renaissance <laughs> art. <laughs> so, there you go. That's crazy, dude. Did you, uh, did you have fun shooting on set and 
yeah, goofing off with all the cameras? The funniest thing was, uh, apparently, not this season, but the season before, Stephen King was on there, and everyone to get a picture. <laughs> he refused to take a picture with anyone. I've heard that, what's the director, uh, Michael Bay, uh, just, like, well, he'll come on set and just, like, fire, like, 30 people and then leave, and basically it's so well known that people, they'll tell people just to bring a change of clothes, so he'll fire people, they'll go in the car, change their clothes, and just come back in, and, like, he'll just, he won't even realize it's the same person. I love that. Because he just comes on set, just like, you're fired. You, you're fired. I've just heard that that's... Have you guys heard that? Every time you bring it up, a part of me is reluctant on, like... Because I've, I've heard that, but I'm not sure if it's Michael Bay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, it might not be Michael Bay. It's Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're you fired. <laughs> oh, you're fired. I think we should talk about saving money. <laughs> With Honey. Is this honey? That's that's not a honey. That's, that's I can't honey. believe Super, well, like, Super Mega is selling honey. out. Okay, okay. <laughs> Chances are you've heard of Honey, the free shopping tool that finds the best promo codes whenever you shop online. It may sound too good to be true, so let's go over the facts. Okay, Matt, you go over the facts. I'd love to. First, you're probably wondering how much money can Honey really save me? Turns out, Honey's already saved people over eight hundred million dollars. That's, 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 not each, but in total, oh. that's a lot of cheddar. Eight hundred million dollars. Right. That's that's like Jerry Seinfeld's net worth, almost <laughs> minus a hundred million. <laughs> that's a lot more than Michael Richards' net worth. That's like, that's like more than. I don't think Honey wants us to mention Michael Richards. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you know, you may also be thinking, Honey doesn't work on sites that I shop at. The truth is, Honey works on over thirty thousand sites like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Newegg, J Crew, and more. So, the big question, how is Honey free? What's the catch? Guess what, guys? There is no catch. Honey gets a small commission from sites where Honey saves you money. So it's always free. In fact, 10 million members trust Honey to save them money every day. But you, you use Honey, right? I do. I actually used it twice this week. Really? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Did it help out a good bit? Yeah, you know, I ordered some new glasses. I saved like 30% because of them. And then I ordered a book. Saved like two bucks there. And you know, it adds up. Yeah, Jackson's in charge of grocery shopping, so he's he's the honey. Yeah. The honey bunny. I'm the honey, Matt's the money. So, you know, if you want to save like Jackson, you know, it's free to use the installs in just two click. Wait. <laughs> what? You can use the installs. Use it. <laughs> it's it's free to use and installs in just two clicks. Get honey for free right now at joinhoney.com slash megacast. What is that, Ryan? <laughs> Honey.com <laughs> slash megacast. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, come on. <laughs> right? Yeah, I see what you're talking about earlier. See exactly what I'm talking about. God damn, why did they do that? I know, I know! Talk, we're talking about Shark Tale again. <laughs> we're talking about character design of Shark Tale. I'm just. Whatever. Anyways, okay. thank you, honey. We yeah, love thank you, you. honey. You I people a lot of money. I legitimately use honey still. My friends use it. Jackson, Jackson over here uses it. I actually saw him using it the other day, and I was like, "Holy, whoa, dude, are you? Are you is that honey?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Hey, they sponsored your mega cast." And then look at that. Yeah. yeah. Full circle. Yeah, it's full circle. Look at that. But uh, guys, you know how how have you been enjoying LA since you moved out here? Us. It's yeah. pretty good. Uh, yeah. I realized today I have not seen rain, and. I don't like, like we, so we drove well, here. We, like we did a road trip. I think we saw it one day on the road trip. Maybe? Where was the place we went to the brewery? That it was the place oh. in the uh, Sasha Barrett Cohen. It was oh, Arizona, King, King, Kingsman, Arizona. Yeah, in Kingsman, 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 Arizona. We saw rain. That was nice. That's the last time I saw rain too. When's the last time it rained in LA? Months. I just South Carolina it rains like every week. Yeah, and oh, I yeah. love that. I miss the like rain. People like I would be posting Instagram stories and just be like pouring and flooding because it just like floods at like a drop of a hat in South Carolina. We're all from South Carolina, yeah. by the way. Yeah. We're just a couple everyone, of like, everyone here on this podcast. Represent. We're a couple of low country, or actually, Ryan's not from the low oh, country. Ryan's from the- uh, He's a Midland boy. He's, I'm from the fucking capital, boy. thank you very much. Oh, yeah. So the, why don't you put some respect capital on Capital of that. Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> you know, Charleston used to be the capital, Ryan. That's all I'm saying. Capital of slave trade. Ooh. Yes, but also the capital <laughs> of South Carolina. <laughs> Yes. Damn it, I hate how, but why did Charleston have to do why that? Why don't you go to the market, Matt? Learn about your history. Okay. They I, actually didn't sell slaves at the I market. I worked at a gallery, right? and everyone just like come in like, where's this, do you know where the slave markets are? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's literally. That's, they that's, shouldn't call them that anymore. Yes, I'm like, they're not that. <laughs> <laughs> Historically they were, but now it's just a regular market. You could just say, where's the market? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm not trying to defend what Charleston did, because Charleston does need to do like a lot of apologizing and recognition, but... They're not the, like, don't call them slave markets anymore. <laughs> they shouldn't keep calling it that. You know where I can go? Where's the slave market at? Is it downtown somewhere? But didn't they actually not, wasn't the market area actually not 
that? Yeah, there were plenty of places they sold slaves in Charleston, just not that one place. So on Super Mega Cats, we'll defend Woody Allen, we'll defend Slave Trade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm Charleston's such a wonderful city and cool place, and I'm just like, why do they have to? You do know the all worst part about the market then? is though, actually, if what? you go in the market, that giant building on top of it is the daughter of the Confederacy headquarters. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I know. I passed that. Yeah. The daughters of the Confederacy. I've, I've, uh, I the love the daughters those guys. of the Confederacy. They're in Borat, aren't they? Doesn't, doesn't Borat talk to the daughters of the Confederacy? But I don't know. But it's like basically you have to have relatives who were in this, who fought in the Civil War to be part of this club. This and sounds so, like some Marvel the pe- villain. Type no, they're thing. The, the daughters, daughters of the Confederacy. <laughs> they're the the Avengers. I think they're the people. The Avengers versus the daughters of the Confederacy. <laughs> Hail daughters of the Confederacy. <laughs> but so a lot of the history of the Civil War and like the resurgence this of his, uh, Civil War pride. <laughs> Change in the South because like it was pretty bad like after Reconstruction, but the Dodgers are, uh, of the Confederate, the people who like kind of helped bring the resurgence of like civil post like I mean pre Civil War Civil War pride. They're not a good group. Also, don't they think Abraham Lincoln is like a? They view him as a villain. Yeah. Well, like that's like I don't know if they think that. I know the, the daughters, but like the sons of the people who like want the Confederate flag out. I do. forgot. There's the sons of the Confederacy too. Yeah. Are they like? That's the sequel. <laughs> that, after they defeat the daughters of the Confederacy, <laughs> That's or the Metal Gear game. Wait, guys, real talk. Can we just have the Metal Confeder- Gear Solid and the Sons of the Confederacy? <laughs> Can we just have people of the Confederacy? Yeah, that's all. I, yeah, that's what we really need. Wait, what if, what if like the Avengers fight the Sons of the Confederacy? They defeat them, and then the sequel is where they bring the all female cast of Daughters of the Confederacy and, it's and like, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's Melissa McCarthy. She's the leader. <laughs> I'm Daughters just imagining the Robert Lee, E. Lee with the with the gauntlet, <laughs> <laughs> snaps his fingers, and like the Union's gone. <laughs> That's good. That's Honestly, that's okay. Good. Also, so I don't know if you've talked about this on the podcast, but how we have a hobby now of just watching Family Guy. Oh, no, I talked remi- about it. Okay, yeah. it just reminds me of that one episode when like it was Robert E. Lee and Lucy Ed's Grant, yeah. and Robert E.'s like, "Fine, we'll give up slavery, but you still can't make us read." <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's talk about Family Guy. Let's we're we're on season three right now. Oh boy, we've been watching it almost every day. It started out as a joke. This like, is y'all three. Yeah, I have no yeah. part in this. We can't, we we tried to get we, you to watch. We tried to get Ryan to watch Family Guy with us. You left the apart. I've had my stages of binging Family. I'm done. I, I can't. I'm what about we're you not out of that life. We're not binging. Where it's like you know when you go and taste wine, you're enjoying wine. Yeah, we're you're not, not binging wine at a wine. Yeah, we're not tasting. alcoholics. Yeah, but we're when you go wine tasting, you don't go like every day of the week. You can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. But I wouldn't. <laughs> we're sommeliers, but for Family Guy. <laughs> yeah. He. Yeah. Exactly. Like we've been. We're almost on season four, and I'm excited to see the changes because after season three is when Fox know. canceled Family Guy for several years, and they brought it back season four, and it's still going. But I'm excited <laughs> to see the the, the changes. Yeah. Um, but the the thing is, uh, you know, Ryan was over at my place, and we had we had watched Better Call Saul because we watched that every week when it airs. And um, I don't. We we tried to get Ryan to stay and watch some Family Guy. He wouldn't do it. Uh, I was a little hurt by that, but I don't want to get into that on the podcast. I will watch the one episode that I do like. Which it's, one's that? One where they go back in the time one, to the pilot episode. The one when Peter becomes a millennial. Whatever season that is, whatever season that is, you update me, I'll be there. We're not, th- we're not, a, we're not there yet. Do you know That's, what season it is? It's, I, I think it's, it's nine. I was looking through this. Recently. Well, you, you guys got a while to go. We so do. season nine, I'll be happy to uh, be a guest in in your humble abode to watch Family Guy with you, specifically that one episode. We did watch an episode where Peter. It's a recent one where Peter becomes a millennial. It's so bad. And That's it's. Good. Yeah, that's, Honestly, that's not first three seasons. It was it was one of, and this is there's a lot of bad Family Guy. Most of it's bad. Yeah. But yeah. this was like I think this honestly took the cake for worst Family Guy episode I've ever seen. I think one of the worst things I've seen. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I was mm-hmm. basically the recent episodes of Family Guy come off as like Seth MacFarlane's really bitter towards everyone and everything, so he just uses Family Guy as his outlet just to attack everything. Because like well, really, he uses Brian as his outlet. To yeah, Brian everything. is like his personal like. <laughs> mouthpiece to say all the shit that he doesn't like well he'll like he'll have these jokes and like obviously like family guy makes a lot of like really weird nuanced jokes but sometimes he'll have jokes and i don't think anybody knows what they're about except for him and he's just like trying to get a jab at someone or something yeah like he'll he'll jab at like a celebrity that it, like everyone's cool with and it's like what? what what was that about but the one good thing to bring this full circle that family guy is great about is calling out people in like hollywood and celebrities that yes are- it called like, out like uh, Kevin Spacey like, like years, years before, before anything wasn't, wait, came out. Wasn't that at a speech thing or was it in a Family Guy? It's in a Family, family Guy. Episode. Oh, it's Stewie. Never mind. Yeah. Um, Woke King. 
also lots but, of other ones too. He recently they were doing a bit on a recent episode about like the Weinstein stuff, and they had a meeting where it's like a lot of the people that were uh, instead of the Avengers, it was yeah, it was the, the Avengers the offenders. It was the yes, exactly. And then they ended the bit by saying, uh, "Where's Matt Damon? Isn't he supposed to be here?" And they said, "He'll be here soon enough." So I wonder if they're predicting. Or not, they know it, and they're, like, waiting for to it. To be honest, like, Matt Damon and the Affleck brothers are not very good people. No. They made a good movie. Which one? Good Will Hunting. True. And, I mean, like, I haven't seen it. It sucks, because, like, Casey Affleck's, like, a, a good actor. He's, like, a horrible uh, person. He's, like, a terrible person, yeah. Robin Williams did wonderfully in that film. Good Will Hunting? Yeah. So, I, oh, know, I, I never, I never liked Matt Damon's character, because his character's just an asshole. But Yeah, yeah. I'm smart. What, so what? I'm gonna go uh, continue to be a janitor. <laughs> we watched uh, the Social Network last night. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. Fucking tight movie. Oh, I'm in the middle of. I still have to finish it. I started watching uh, the Dark Knight last night again. Ooh, for another viewing. I watched those so long. I don't remember anything. I, I think I watched like the the middle one, and that was it. Like back in Seattle, I was so like, into ages them for ago. A while. I'm not wearing hockey oh, yeah. pads. Come on, guys. The Dark Knight. You want to see a magic trick? You want to know um, how I got these scars? Uh, my father was a drinker. What movie is um, this? Uh, um, uh, um, I don't. I'm not getting these. Are we still talking about the Social Network? <laughs> are we still talking about Family Guy? <laughs> uh, are we still Are we still talking about Honey? No. In fact, you we're going to go talk about Honey.com slash Megacast. How about we talk about Loot Crate? <gasps> okay. Should we open it live on the podcast? Yeah, well, let's open our loot crates live on the okay. podcast. Okay. Be right. Let's go get our guys. Entertain the masses while Ryan and I go fetch our loot crates from the other room. Give us a topic to talk yeah. about. Give us something to talk about. Come on, uh, Im- improv. Uh, I'm just like a shark tail. Okay, you come up with one word. I'll come up with another. One. Yes, and. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the first kind of subject is coal mining. Coal, coal mining, and I'm gonna do, um, child labor laws. Go. Oh, okay. okay so. This is a this is a pretty big hat. Um, so are we combining coal mining and child labor laws? I mean, they go hand in well, hand guess, anyway. Hey, it actually kind of goes with Nestle. Oh yeah, <laughs> Nestle. Apparently. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> apparently, Nestle like is like using actual child slaves. Oh yeah, so Nestle's always been bad with like South America and stuff like that. As we all know, there was the whole banana fiasco, the cocoa fiasco. What's the banana fiasco? That wasn't uh, them. That was Chiquita and lots of the other. Brands oh, on there. I like that little chiquita. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've been practicing so much Spanish here. Go on. But yeah, they just they use uh, child labor, underpaid labor, slave labor, lots of good stuff. Just like the Clintons. Just like the Clintons. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matthew Watson's okay, favorite book, talk Clinton Cash. This, so so we're sure. we're hoping that we can steal some of this okay, loot crate stuff from Matt and Ryan. Uh, okay, so. How, how was the conversation? Oh, we talked about the Nestle slavery. <laughs> the what? <laughs> how Nestle is using child slaves. Oh, okay. Um, okay, we, so... We didn't get very far. So, Matt, for the first part of this ad read... You know who doesn't use child slaves? Excuse me. Loot Crate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're, they don't, as far as I know. We're going to open up our own Loot Crates, and we're going to we're gonna guffaw at whatever they, they've sent us. We're opening a live... I've actually never opened a Loot Crate Neither in my have life. I. What I theme mean, it's, is... it's a shoebox now, right? And yes. Was it always a shoebox? <gasps> Whoa! Okay. All right, I opened it up. Rick and Morty! Rick and Morty! Look at this. I got, I got, I got a Rick and Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem. Morty, Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem! Which one's yours? Mine's this one? Oh, that's dope. Oh, I got a little notebook that's got... Okay, uh, I actually like this. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog. What? Let me see. Pin. Oh, shit. There's a Courage the Cowardly... Okay, that's actually... That's He's, really cool. Do we just get the same stuff? I think we did. That's awesome. Check it out. We got... Oh, I got a shirt, too. <laughs> what shirt is this? This is, uh... Hold on. It's got baseball bats on it. Oh, yeah? Well, I got a Batman pop socket. Here you go, Jackson. Wait, what oh shirt is God. this? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Um, got a Harley Quinn notebook. Book. There you go. Oh, my go. God. We got a, a Batman. Speaking of... You were just talking about Batman, Ryan. Got a Batman pop uh, socket. I gave one to Jackson. Is is my is my shirt the same as... Uh, I think so. Uh, I'm what, is what, uh, what is this? What is What is the reference? Wait, what is, does the tag sure. say anything? In tech. What's in a tech? What's that from? Is it like... Let me see. Here we go. It's... Uh, Look up I-N-I tech. Office space. Is that oh yeah okay never mind it's when they took the baseball bats to all the shit in the parking lot oh oh that's I what see the references. okay well well now I can wear this okay sweet Luke Ray, it, thank you so much for sending us these thank let's, you let's, so much let's talk about it Let, let's let's talk about that for those curious about Loot Crate it's a monthly subscription service where you get a box delivered direct to your door with exclusive pop culture collectibles apparel and gear Loot Crate curates slash designs everything themselves you can't find these items anywhere else. No matter what you geek out about, 
This is for you. <laughs> Woo! This ain't your mama's crate. Over 30 million loot crates have been sold. You get a new crate every month with tons of cool stuff in it. The September crate, for example, has four incredible franchises, including Marvel's Venom, Alien, Predator, and X-Files. Also, Matthew, there's a guaranteed t-shirt in every crate. Ah! So guys, this month's crate will sell out. You only have until Wednesday, September 19th at 6 p.m. to guarantee your order or this crate will be gone forever. Get the best surprises each month from the largest geek and gaming subscription company. Geek out in style with Loot Crate, guys. <clears throat> We're not done. Subscribe I'm just now. Excited. Hey. He's doing an ad read this over here. This is what earns the bread, boy. <clears throat> Can I do this? Can are you going yes? yeah, to let us finish can our ad yes? Jackson? Do you talk? I can. Can wait, I continue? Wait, do they pay you guys for these? Jackson, can we finish? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I'm kind of fuming right now. Do you want me to read it? No, I got it. I got it. Can you, actually, could you just take the uh, last two words yeah, before sure. the parentheses? Sure. Okay. Sus uh, subscribe now by going to lootcrate.com slash super and enter our code super to save an exclusive 15% off your subscription. Thanks. Of course. Once again, guys, subscribe now by going to lootcrate.com slash super and enter our code super to save an exclusive 15% off your subscription. Thank you so much, Loot Crate, for sending us those, those fresh crates. I hope that uh, you guys can go out and get that September crate before it sells out. Haha! Money, 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 money! Ryan, can you have your pop socket so we can have you three have pop sockets? Oh, it's. Yeah, that, that was Ryan's. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, wow. What do you mind, Do you know we're not allowed to call our things pop sockets, Ryan? Yeah, because it's it's the same thing as, uh, I Spidget think, Kleenex spinners. and Jacuzzi. Right? Well, it's, like, it's, it's, it's the same problem that you run into with those. Because it's like they started it, so like you just associate the word with it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Same with Velcro, actually, I'm pretty sure. Well, the, yes. the whole thing with Velcro was like. A few months ago, it came out that, like, they're about to lose the rights to their name because that can happen if a brand becomes too big with that kind of thing. Really? So, they're, like, trying to, like, reclaim it and be like, no. <laughs> reclaim it. Ca Velcro. Call it a loop and a strap. It was, like, a giant ad campaign I saw for, like, a month and then it just ended. A Velcro. Loop that's and a, a strap? That's our word. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking back the word Velcro. So, right now, I have three pop sockets on my phone. No. No. You have three phone socket holders. No, these are actually uh, licensed pop well, two socks. Well, it's not that. Two R. The third one is Super Mega brand. That which, shitty Super Mega one. Okay, it's not shitty, first of all. Um, it, oh, just ripped the, it just ripped it back off my phone. What the what? fuck? Oh my, all, all the insides of my phone are spilling out. <laughs> it ripped the guts out. Because of the Super Mega Pop Grip Socket for your phone, which uh, will be available on our website soon. I don't know if we've announced that yet. At this point, when the podcast yeah. drops, probably not, but very, very soon. It's, All been, I know a, it's is been a big work. My favorite pop socket that I've seen is it yours, which is like the geometric one. Yeah, I like that one. I like. I got that one, one in uh, Tokyo, baby. My favorite's the Super Mega one. Stop. What about Super Mega Butt Plugs? <laughs> Super Mega Butt Sorry, Plugs? You know, like the little ones, that, like little star, and like they like yeah. bend over. Yeah, we get basically like a Super Mega Butt Plug because you know the butt plugs that basically have like. Just the, put a pop socket it looks, on like it. The, it looks like the back of your pop socket. That's where I got the idea from. Yeah, because then you could have the Super Mega logo coming out your yeah, butt. I would like you guys that. be interested if we sold Super Mega butt plugs? You could you could rock Super Mega. I think like it would be logo. actually really good if you had super, you know the like the kits and it's like help to build your uh, make a your butt so like it'll like the width can get bigger. Yeah, yeah, the anal enlarging. Yeah, I think you should make a kit of Super Mega ones. That's a really good idea. Anal enlarging isn't that just gaping? It's a gape a gaping. Kit. It's basically just like making your ass. <laughs> you bigger. work your way up. Yeah. yeah. Dig it up, ho ho, dig I think that's a money opportunity. I think right Harrison, we might have to bring you on. Ah, what can I say? As a merch director for toy Super Mega. merch designer, you could be the new toy designer for Super Mega. Yeah, that's what I've always yeah. dreamed of. Game Grumps too, man. You can design toys for Game Grumps <laughs> as well. Yeah, I like this. So I'd like to announce a project that we've all been working on. We've actually been working on a Fortnite XXX Tentacion tribute music video. It's been. A couple months in the works. I pitched it to be a whole album, but they only wanted to do the one song. Well, so, so. the reason it's taken so long is because we actually had XXX on board at first. But... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! We had to turn it into a tribute. <laughs> oh. He went to Tilted Towers and he dropped the Tilted Towers. He, he went to the Loot Lake in the sky. <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a there's a sect of, of Twitter that that will piss off. I tweeted out a, a Minecraft skin of 
of, of XXX Tentacion and that upset some people. Honestly, good. I mean, like, if you're going to defend uh, a known abuser of women. I literally tweeted out But not Woody Allen, Allen, right? Yeah. <laughs> not Woody Allen, dude. <laughs> not my Woody Allen. Hashtag not my Woody Allen. I love Woody Allen, man. He's a he's a he's, he's my hero. He's so funny. What about <laughs> He's so funny? <laughs> his movies are hysterical. My favorite part about his movies is like it's just literally the grossest looking man getting like these beautiful women. He's like, they love me because of my intellect and my wit. <laughs> when you say that, is that because he plays every lead character? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that's just I'm so annoyed by the squeaking. Do you want to trade chairs? No, I, I I'm It's like that to... episode of Spongebob Square Pants that, yeah. where he's got the squeaky boots on. It's uh Yo! If like so, if some hype beast, hype beast, if some hype beast brand wants to make a bunch of money on nostalgia, because a lot of the kids buying the hype beast stuff grew up in the era of SpongeBob and stuff, they should make like squeaky boots and then put their logo on it, like the Supreme logo on really squeaky boots. <laughs> you can have it's that WD forty for that. <laughs> you guys want to know a little a little engineer's uh, saying? You wanna... Do you want to know a little engineer's saying? Yeah, what is it? If it's moving and it's not supposed to, duct tape. If it's supposed to move and it's not, WD-40. That's Ooh. just like a little saying. And that's how we got on the moon, fellas. That's how we <laughs> did it, duct tape and WD-40. Do you guys like Can you the... believe they're not going to show them planting the flag on the moon? Unbelievable. What the fuck has I'm cut, our I'm nation I'm cutting gone the to? Nike out of my, my uh, space cutting, suit for this. I'm cutting, <laughs> I'm the, cutting the Nike I'm, out of my American I'm flag. I'm cutting my this. American flag in protest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no. I'm uh I'm cutting the moon out of every photo I've ever taken as the moon in it. I'm actually just gonna get my gun and support my Second Amendment and just shoot at the moon. Shoot the moon, guys. <laughs> Wait, do uh do flat earthers believe that the moon is flat and like all planets are flat, or just particularly Earth and everything else is a sphere? You know what? I don't know. Well, like, moon, is there a flat moon that right. moves? I'm like, looking this up real quick. This is important. Right above us, type. Of I thing? wonder if they think that because you know you only see one side of the moon. Because it's yeah. like it's like it's locked, so it's like one face only shows towards Earth. Yeah, I bet they. Some people think it's that that's like a, a disc, and they only. But how do you made explain the side. changing craters? And oh, they don't think the moon's real. I think. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> okay, that takes it to a whole new. Level. <laughs> it's one up. thing to think the Earth is flat, and it's another thing to think that the moon's not real. The moon, the tides explain that. You can't. God, you hmm. can't explain it. Look the tides this. come in, the tides go out. Can't explain that. Look at this banana. Well, actually, you can. My favorite is a guy who, like... This banana hate... is the perfect shape. As you can see, I can grip it. I can open it. I can, I can, I can do a lot with this if you, if you just... <laughs> My favorite thing is, like, the guy who, like, he took a level on a plane, down. and he's like, look, guys, it stayed this way the whole entire time. He's like, Earth's flat. <laughs> Man, that shit looked flat to me. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it. Wait, wait. That was Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq's a flat earther, right? He, I don't, I don't know if he is anymore. He a lot have, of like, he might have gone back on that. A lot of like, yeah, a lot of like, players. yep, a lot yeah. of sports people. For because here's reason. the thing: when they, when they put their, when they put one the too, basketball, and hip hop artists, one too many concussions. I mean, they also, you know, the government administered AIDS. Did you hear? And uh, I, I just found this out recently. Have you, have you ever listened to any of Jaden Smith's Sire album? I've heard some of his music. I don't know if Jayden I've heard Smith? anything off that. He references album, uh, building se or Tower Seven. So, really? Yeah. What's so Tower Seven? During nine eleven. Well, Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> Tower Seven was uh, one of the World Trade. It was like World Trade Center Building Seven that also collapsed during the September eleventh attacks. And a lot of conspiracy theorists say that there was no reason the building should have collapsed. And they're saying, like, why did that building also fall? So there's some secret truth about Tower 7 and that it was, like, exploded. It was, like, oh, part I know of a big, you're talking about now. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know that much about Tower well, 7. Like, what is the reasoning that it fell? Was like, it? Wait, ac what? According to those uh, globalists. Why did they say it? I think. Why did Tower Seven? Was it because it was just so close to everything that was going on? It came. Did it? Did it collapse when the buildings collapsed? Like when the I two mean, towers like explosions collapsed? Explosions like happening. A little bit later. I don't know. When a tragedy happens, I don't try to figure out the specifics of like building structure and stuff. Like I just like, oh, a plane crashed. Yeah, into but can jet fuel melt steel beams? Yes. Remember that meme? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it something we could talk about on the podcast? Oh my god, that's from the actual movie. It's another one of those Shark Tale pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep showing Ryan Shark Tale pictures. <laughs> oh no! Let me see. Why do they do this in the Shark Tale movie? It's a oh. featurette, dude. 
Oh, t- 2004. That's not even that long ago. <laughs> this is about the same time the song uh, by the Black Eyed Peas came out. Every time I burst into laughter, you don't know why. It's because Jackson showing me another picture as Will Smith's <laughs> like fish character design in Shark Tale. <laughs> okay, uh, let's the uh, original version of "Let's Get It Started" by the Black Eyed Peas came out in 2003. Um, oh my! God. That's, and, and not, not the, that's not the version that says "Let's get it started." The other one, and um, yeah. so 2003 and Let's 2004. Let's get rambunctious and ha- <laughs> here you go. I'm a, whose phone is this? Mine. Mine. Can you guys believe that was a song? Like that was like a real song on the radio. Good old. Uh, I want to know what he was trying to reference. Like in specifically, if you break it down, when he's like, "Let's get." retarded in here he's saying like we're gonna dance and party so hard we're gonna get stupid because that's yeah, he, he also says, says get that stupid he says get stupid oh, because it was saying he's like let's get stupid Do you yeah, remember, yeah, like, yeah with black eyed peas like literally was the biggest thing on planet earth for a while it's not right now I'm, they came out with that song me. that touched everyone's hearts it's like Ooh. where's the love yeah no i think we were just talking about <laughs> <laughs> where is the love where is the love where is the love? I never realized his name was William or Will. Like, Wait, did until they like way too? Long. Will I? Did am? they fall off before he was a flat earther, or was that? Like, is he, wait, is he wait was earther? he a flat earther too? Will I am? Yeah, he's like one of the biggest ones, right? No, no, that's Bob. Yeah, he's thinking of Bob. Bob, but, but is also Will I am a flat earther? Look that up. Will I am did something. But uh, B.O.B. is like the biggest flat earth. Well, there's beautiful girls all over the flat world. Beautiful girls <laughs> all, all over, over the, the flat world. world. I, couldn't Wait, I couldn't chase them. I could be chasing them. Oh, I could be chasing them. would be wasted. Because they, they got nothing, ain't on, nothing you. on you. Girl, they got nothing on you. Because because the earth ain't round. The yeah. Ain't round. yeah. He'd be wasting his time just traveling one flat plane. Also, uh, I remember when I think, when I hear that song. Uh, How does that explain like. If you go to somewhere, like if you go somewhere on the far end of that flat Earth, it would be a shorter flat. Never mind. It's like a shorter distance. Come out. Of, Ryan, I'm just, I'm just trying to. Let me let me put it in simpler terms for you. Okay. okay. When you put a ball on the ground, like a basketball, does it start rolling? No, because if the Earth was round, it would start. It would just roll all the way around. But the how world. Do, how do they talk about like if you actually took a plane and just straight lined it, you would all, you would end up in the same like spot eventually they don't let the, the, the pilots know they don't fly certain distances because they know they'll hit the end they'll hit the storm it's not gas or anything no it's actually just like fortnite it's just the big storm <laughs> around. They the actually, storm's coming <laughs> it's actually actually what we live on is the, a giant turtle and our what our, book is that from i don't know that's from like an that old is from book. a book yeah but also i think a lot of flat earthers believe that gravity because like okay then what's gravity gravity is so earth is a disc essentially and it's always moving upwards which is pushing us down and that's what, what gravity is then, but if it's moving up there still has to be gravity in the first place like you you're pushed down when something moves up because gravity already exists you know it's like i i don't get it see matt i trust you if you graduated college this logic you're spitting but, is just uh, a little too much for me. I don't, I don't think you understand the science and the semantics behind it all. Here's the thing, guys. You take an orange. If I pour a water bottle onto an orange, what ha- what does the water do? Does the water just pool at the top and sit still? No. It runs down the orange, around the orange. Now, I pour water onto the ground or a desk. It, it pools flat. It's not running forever going around the globe. Aren't you glad? And on the topic I, of that, if I have flat? a pen and I have an apple, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Jackson just destroyed you with logic. <laughs> Fuck. God, he got me. You're not coming back from that one. I, with you. I can't come back from if that shit. If you shit. have a pen <laughs> and you have an Jordan apple, Jordan Peterson. <laughs> so I've got a pen <laughs> and I've got an apple. apple. Uh, apple uh, actually, actually, and I've got a pineapple, and I've got a pen. The white male and the white knight. I noticed in interviews that like that people have with them. The one thing that I have noticed is that it's really difficult to have a streamlined conversation with them, because with Dr. Peterson, he's always like, <laughs> "No, it depends on what you mean by desk. If by desk you mean <laughs> flat surface made of wood, then yes, I agree. But if desk you mean a place where the patriarchy sits at the forefront, I disagree. <laughs> like." It's like, no, we're just talking. You, you like, can't have a straight... Co- well, it's like, the most obnoxious thing about him is that, like, if you, like, try and refute anything, he's like, 
well, have you watched all of my videos? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a YouTuber. Have you, watched all have you seen my videos? Are you subscribed? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you click the bell next time, icon. Next time you, someone... Are you using our pop socket? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, a, here, George is, that, is that a Jordan <laughs> Peterson pop socket on your phone? It's just his face. like a lobster. Do you just think about the lobster? No. Oh, God. It's such like, a good movie. He like considers the lobsters yeah, like, oh, his, the new trailer just came out for the favorite. The, the Is that his new one? The guy, he's like Jordan Greek. Peterson? I don't know his Wait, is that name. the same guy that did the lobster and did Killing of the Sacred Yeah. Deer? Yeah. Okay, because I'm ooh. interested. Have yeah, you seen Dogtooth? Huh? Have you seen Dog no, Tooth? I haven't. That's Dog that's really a, that's the first movie we did. That's so good. Okay. It's one of my favorite. I saw the trailer for the favorite, and it looks really good. I just like it because it has Sophie from Peep Show in it. As like yeah, the queen it has like a main character. Killing of a Sacred Deer was awesome. Yeah, I love that movie. You yeah. still haven't seen Lobster? The I haven't Lobster. seen Lobster. We though. gotta watch my we, favorite of the two. We gotta watch Dog Tooth. That's the best I, one. Yeah. Okay. Um, but speaking about Jordan Peterson's like obsessed with lobsters. He like considers like the best animal, animal or something. Is it like the most alpha animal? Like it's something about like how they just live on the bottom of the ocean and they can live forever. I just want to see. Has someone made uh, an image of like the animorph, but it's Jordan Peterson turning <laughs> into a lobster? <laughs> no, actually, no lobster. I have a pen and I have an apple. Destroyed logic. Boom. Oh. I would love like. Every time I, I don't know why, but when I think, it's so ingrained in me, and I don't know why this is, but when I think of lobsters, I just think of the RuneScape lobster inventory icon. Every time. I don't know why, like, that is what's stuck in my brain For some with reason, lobster. I always think of going to Piggly Wiggly as a kid and seeing the massive tank of lobsters there. Yeah. Because I was so obsessed oh, with yeah. buying one as a kid. Because I wanted as like, Did they have the yeah. circular tank? Oh, there's there's yeah, one. They, they did have a circular There's one tank where it was yeah. a circle and you could, like, walk around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, I remember no, that. these are, like, so, the ones, like, because... There's a Piggly Wiggly chain that just got bought up by Harris Teeter, but there's like local ones that weren't owned like, to their own thing. But like, had like case Piggly Wiggly a fish adult. tank that was like so small, like it that was, one was like super tiny, and they're like eight lobsters. If you weren't gonna eat them, it'd be animal cruelty. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys remember like while we're on the topic of like obscure South Carolina grocery stores? Do you remember? IBA was it IBA IBA ICA and it had that creepy commercial with the little like CG animated dude and he was like you're gonna get guaranteed low, low prices. prices IGA IGA yeah. IGN IGA. IGA. that jingle IGA. sounds familiar guaranteed fake reviews IGN <laughs> fake reviews it was like so <laughs> the commercials were so unbelievably creepy and I cannot find them anywhere and I tweeted about it once and everybody pulled up like the mascot, but it was like a newer version that they had gotten to look better. But I remember the original one that was terrifying. It I was don't like, remember these because, like, but we lived like in the same like right next to each other, so I don't. Know yeah, well, IGA was in there wasn't one near different us, so. parts of Charleston. It was in like some of the. Well, we're from Somerville, so I don't know if we if you know we're past the tracks. Yeah, so. we were. You guys are in in good old classic Somerville. Somerville. Wonder if anyone Carolina. right now is listening from Somerville, South Carolina. If you are, we're sorry. That's Yo. God's favorite town, home, birthplace of sweet tea. Apparently. Yeah, birthplace. Do you want to go hang out in North Charleston at two a.m.? Sure. Okay. I would love to. That's where I went to high school, North mm-hmm. Charleston. Just walk down the street. That's why Matt's so see tough. What happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I went to I went to uh, I, I went to high school in Park Circle, North Charleston. For all of you, everyone listening is like, "What the fuck is that?" He did graduate high school though. Just I graduated high, high school. school. We we he did, did graduate high school. So that's something. Didn't quite have the chops for uh, uni life, but okay, Jack. You know, I went for a year as a scholar. Yeah. You watched the Social Network last night, and now he thinks he's like Mark Zuckerberg dropping <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what about a? Uh, could I still get a G? Wait, GED is for high school. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he doesn't even I know that. It. You two have it. Everyone who graduated high school. Wait, so if you graduate high school, that's it. you have a GED. GED is just general education. You got your general education. Dead. You know school. who doesn't have a GED? 6'9. <laughs> Takashi 6'9. <laughs> and Aaron. Or XX. Oh, Aaron doesn't even have a GED. So yeah, no. Aaron and Takashi 6'9, same person. They got something <laughs> in common, man. When Aaron goes to court, he shows up with uh, a tie unbuttoned. wrapped around his neck yeah. and then those big. Pink shoes and his outfit to court was ridiculous. And the baggy pants. I, he's gonna get. <laughs> he's going to get just beat the heck up in. in he prison. will not survive prison. Good. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you're. A, you're a, do people who support XX also support? I don't know because well, the thing about Six Nine <laughs> is like he legitimately is convicted of some 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 pedophile stuff. He's, I don't know why oh, big yeah. artists still work with him either. Like Nicki Minaj, the video's Nicki not out there, well, but he, he filmed himself doing some weird shit. Like, it's almost as good as the other videos. Like defending him, 
Yeah, I don't get why people defend people like that. Because also, he doesn't even he doesn't make good music though either. Looky, looky, looky on oh, my bicky, uh. With with Nicki Minaj, <laughs> let me get it started, baby with the Robins. Looking all rough. <laughs> my baby, don't oh, man. They need to they need to collab with uh six nine. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Outcast. Mm-hmm. Class of three thousand. Mm-hmm. You guys remember that show? Yeah, I remember that. I, I remember that. <laughs> Apparently, wait, Wes. So my girlfriend used to babysit the girl who who went to prom with uh, Andre three thousands. Uh, a uh, son, seven. I think his name's Seven. I thought you were about to say with Andre three thousand. I was like, I was, wait, how young was the yeah, girl? Was like, how prom? old is your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, either Harrison's girlfriend is like sixty, or Andre three thousand. Well, that is a correct, really actually. <laughs> yeah, sorry, ladies. Harrison is off the market with a six-year-old woman. And but you can. Uh, so so all the people that were oogling over his. Uh, posterior on my Instagram story. He is unfortunately taken. I'll let you guys look at it though. Yeah. But Touchin's gonna come. You could start a Patreon for your ass. Ooh. That's a good idea. It's who, a nice Who needs a who needs to get a job in LA when I can just sell my body? You can you can sell the cake, man. Open up the cake shop. Harrison's cake shop. That'll be the name of the Patreon. Sell a little slice for five bucks or you can sell the whole thing for twenty. Ooh. Ooh mm-hmm. I like these price points. You do like a pinup calendar with your ass. You can like dress it up in different things. It's just like, it's just like not, it's just like comedy now. <laughs> it looks like a doctor. How, how would your parents feel about that? It's like, oh, our son moved out to LA and then selling pictures of his ass. He's online. an ass model now. <laughs> but you like through this comedic Patreon thing, you actually get picked up as an ass model for like Calvin Klein and stuff. Oh, oh. dude, you have, my it's ca- nice. It's a nice ass. My Calvin's. And then I'm over here doing social media still five years from now for super mega. <laughs> would that be a bad thing? Why do you no. act that? Why are you saying that like it's some kind of joke or like it's like not a Wait, good job? Wait, the real thing. Super mega five years from now. Mm, okay. If it's still making money, that's all I care about. I'm money. just waiting for this for the scandal. The scandal's at least coming in 2021. True. The big huge scandal. It's when we bring Michael Richards on the. Just podcast. wait till I go rogue. <laughs> <laughs> go rogue on the super mega account. Or you're gonna yeah. be like you guys are gonna be like Rascal Flats. Rascal Flats when they played for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna come do drunk drawing live at the at Trump's 2020 inauguration. These guys are here. They're gonna entertain drunk everyone. Drunk drawing live is coming out soon though. It is. Yeah. By the way, guys, drunk drawing live. You can get ask, tickets yeah. September 27th in the Los Angeles area at the Hi Hat. Unless they're already sold out, which I doubt they which are. Which they. But. They probably aren't, if I had to take a guess, because it's it's a test show. We've never done Drunk Drawing Live. Um, we got to get everything set up. Uh, me and Jackson will be there selling merch, so yeah, at we'll, least come for that. Yeah, we'll, you, we'll be you there can, doing something. You can see Harrison's ass in real life if you do come to the show. Oh, I'm going to wear, like, a dress so no one yeah, can see it. But please don't touch, Yeah, because that's actually not cool. So if you see Harrison's ass in real life, don't don't be don't weird. Don't stare at it. Just respect him. Just respect his ass. Respect the cake. You know what I'm respect saying? Respect the pouch. Respect anyway. him. <laughs> Wait, what's that from? Capri Sun. Yeah, oh my god, yeah! Respect the I, That was in my brain. I was like, well, why is that in Respect my brain? What is that? Respect it! Those are the commercials where he'd like jump on a Capri Sun and then he would explode instead of the Capri Sun. I'm yeah, always scared. of children is hilarious. I'm yeah. always scared to drink Capri Sun because like, you know on Facebook they are like, they would always share like those horror stories it's like, look, I opened up my son's Capri Sun and this was inside. I was just like, there was, was a human like hand in this Capri Sun. It was just like mold or something. Probably because like, they fucking, they let, there was like a seven year old Capri Sun. They pulled it out of the basement and we're like, here you go. Oh! Remember the woman that put the, the her, like the finger in the chili at Wendy's? You know, honestly though, that's a hustle right there. You gotta respect that. Yeah. You got it. Where did she get the, did they ever find out where she even got the it finger? It was in her own fridge or freezer. It was like from some family members. But where did it come from? Like, I can't remember. I just, she had a good old plan. She did. It didn't work out. She went to jail, I'm pretty sure, for the... And I'm sure Wendy's countersued with, like, a big number. I just imagine, like, the, the redhead Wendy, like, in, in court and just, like... <laughs> <laughs> didn't imagine... they, Didn't they, like, do a series of Wendy's commercials where they had the original Wendy's daughter? Yeah, but, but then they deemed her, like, not attractive enough, so they replaced her with, like, a really cute redhead I was girl. just gonna say that, like, I was expecting, like, some, like, adult Peppy Longstocking looking person, but no... It was at first. Well, like the daughter, it was like the the redhead daughter, and she was middle aged. And then for like three commercials, when they replaced her with like Reba that, McIntyre, was it was it Reba <laughs> no, McIntyre? No, that was KFC, right? No, they had uh, Norm Macdonald as the the colonel, which is an incredibly bizarre casting choice for the colonel. Yeah, and then, well, they had the Jason Alexander. No, what's his name? Is it Jason, Jason Al- Alexander as the new colonel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that'd be pretty good. No, it is. It is. No, George Wait, Costanza is not the new colonel of KFC. Yes, no, he is. It's Michael There's Richards. There's a commercial with him. There's a commercial with him. 
<laughs> I don't know if Michael Richards would go over well. As There's a commercial with George Costanza. What do you mean, Matt? You're fucking. I'm with no, me. I saw it. No, I see okay. it on the ads before. Jason Alexander Colonel. KFC. I'm gonna see. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fleet water too hot. You're okay. Yeah, the fleet water is a little hot. You're right. Now back to having Mr. Richards be the uh, the colonel. I would not, <laughs> not, not be. Good. Honestly, that man's not gonna be in an all linen suit. That's just asking him too much. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Thank you guys so much for coming on the podcast. You can check them out on Twitter. Links in the description. And uh, we actually do have a new project coming up with them soon. Uh, very excited for that. Oh, keep, yeah. your, keep your eyes out. Keep your, keep your eyes peeled for that. It's uh, not movie reviews. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Those are never happening. They told us. That's not true. That's <laughs> not true. The movie reviews are coming soon. Sure. Yeah, right, five year, We said five years now from Jackson's yeah, yeah. doing social media. That's when movie reviews come out. Jackson, you can quit social media the day that we start movie reviews. Tomorrow? I can't quit. <laughs> I think I'm like locked up. We'll keep you in a cage. They made me sign start. a horribly abusive contract. Well, you you gave you the chance to read it. You still signed it. it you're like Eduardo from yeah. the Social Network. I really wanted no, to ask kids with problems. <laughs> I wanted to make like a ridiculous, stupid, awful contract for Jackson to sign, and he'd sign it because he's like our friend, and it's a joke. But then actually try to hold it up in court and be like, he signed it. So then he has to do all this awful, terrible shit, and like give us all of his money and stuff. <laughs> And be like, Jackson, you signed the contract. <laughs> yes, it was it was a jokey looking contract, but you actually signed it, so Matt, it's gonna hold up. But Matt, see, I wouldn't do that. You think I'm coming back for my thirty percent? I'm coming back for all I'm for, back everything. for, all for everything. Mega. Jackson comes and takes Super Mega. Do you know how much this would mean to my dad? <laughs> Me and Harrison are just gonna take over Super Mega. Yeah, we're take, gonna change take the name. Ryan and I to the 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 wayside. To the wayside. We're gonna have to start a new channel. Drop you guys off at Skid Row. Bye. This we literally just we literally just take your lives. Like Jackson will take uh he'll take uh, Lego, I'll take banana. Oh, we put them down. Oh yeah, no, you we actually you'll, you'll take them. them, but you'll have to eat them eventually. You'll just be so Wait, broke. wait, real quick. We made a joke in a mail video about Lego, and then Ryan's like, Oh yeah, I put him down. I got tired of him. And then I put like I I flashed a picture on screen with a cartoon sound effect that said rest in peace. <laughs> Apparently people thought it was so real. When you search Lego, like Ryan's dog Lego on Google, the like the most related search is like Lego put down. What? Like people had to see if he actually got put down. Lego was alive and well, guys. We did not yeah, we saw we saw him this weekend. Yeah, I saw him this weekend. He's, he's he's a for some boy. reason he's a different breed than I remember. Uh but. no, no. You just I you same dog. Well, the exact was same he always dog. a bulldog? Same dog. <laughs> you probably don't even remember what's going on. It's, it's just been funny. a while, man. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on, guys. It has been a blast. Uh you're gonna see these guys more here and there on our channel and, and elsewhere because they live in LA now. Only they're funny if you want. and with their special little project that's cooking up that's mm, that's gonna be me and, pretty epic. Me and Harrison and Jackson are cooking pan. we're cooking something up. The the, oh, the classic the boys are gonna be at it again. We're gonna be bigger, again. better and more badass. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But don't worry guys. I will always be here on Super Mega. I ain't going nowhere. But thank you for coming on. I said it again for the third time. Do you want to say anything before uh we cut you free? Um is there lunch for us after this here? Depends on how much there is. After, after Matt and I have lunch, if there's still enough for you, then yeah. yeah. Well, that's the best thing about going out to eat with Matt. Matt never finishes food. I mean, Jackson like literally like, vultures like flying above him. <laughs> like, we're just waiting, and then we're just snacking. Snack. Like it's not even Wait, the bad thing. Do you guys ever funny. like? Do you guys ever not order that much just because you know that I'm gonna have leftovers? No, I mean like we'll always get like a, like you know like, yeah. let's say we're getting like hamburgers. Like we'll get like a hamburger. We're not gonna like not get food. But like me and Jackson, it's just funny eat because it's like, like we grew up with. So it's me, Jackson, our other brother, and our dad. So we eat a like we just yeah. learn to eat it's fat. Like Malcolm in the dang middle. It's like a, it's like a fight. It's like three wolves fighting over a bone. So we're just aggressive yeah. eaters. I'm glad you guys are aggressive eaters, and I'm glad that the podcast is now ending. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.